Well, welcome back everybody to Probably Not The Best Garage. Today is something real, real simple, real quick. I am going to do a little bit of polyurethane on a transition piece for the house uh, that I made. Uh, that's just, this is all, this house that we've got is old uh, from the uh, late 50s and just nothing square. Not, you can't buy anything for it, so you have to make pretty much everything, which is why I made this. Uh, and it goes from the wood floor, the original wood floor to the house that goes up into the bathroom. Uh, that we've got a new floor in quite a quite a bit of height difference so i had to make one and it originally came from this particular board so i mean we've shaved her down quite a bit obviously uh, but i'm to the polyurethane stage and something i just have, have picked up over the years was uh it was very helpful uh to me uh i like to use foam brushes little little foam brushes these are from walmart and you know they get the little uh, the bigger ones and smaller ones, things like that. But the, the best part about them is they're super cheap and they're disposable. And you don't really have to worry about them. I don't like, especially for a project like this, that's going to be real, real small. I don't like wasting a, a, a really good brush, right? So uh, the foam brushes are really good. Something else that's, I think, overlooked a lot is what you can do with the foam brush after you use it. So this one has been used. It's hard as a brick and it's just worthless. So it's time to throw it out, right? Not quite. If you look in the foam brush, so you're ready to go for your next uh, coat, uh, per se, take all the foam off of this brush. Okay, this is worthless. Yeah, don't need that anymore. What you're left with is gonna be something similar to this. Okay, it's a paddle-like thing. Um, and just fair warning before what I'm about to say, go ahead and clean this, uh, you know, at least moderately good. Uh, and you'll understand why in just a second. But what you're left with is a really, really good stir stick for either paint or, in my case, polyurethane. I love this for polyurethane. And it leaves one more uh, little piece to make it even better. Okay, so you take just a pocket knife, razor knife, whatever you got, a piece of sandpaper if you want to wait that long, and take it and just whittle down, literally whittle, just like, uh, like you'd see in an old movie. Whittle it down. It doesn't have to be pretty. This is this is going to be trash anyway, right? Just enough that you're going to kind of shave the edge down just ever so slightly, right? Put your knife down, the old trusty Black and Decker, and you can shove this dude in. And now you have a really good stirring paddle that's a variable speed. If you want to really get crazy with it, obviously you can change the speed of a drill to make it slower or faster. Uh, but these are really, really handy and it gives you just a little bit more use out of a piece of trash. I'm all about on this channel and I'm all about in my garage making good use of everything that I can possibly do. Much like what the transition board came from, it was original to the house and it was there's four steps that goes down into the lower portion of the house. That's the original stair tread. So I'm tying in the old pieces to what we've got now, trying to tie the old to the new for, you know, I guess if you want to call it that. So make good use of what you got. These are phenomenal. So what I'm getting at just a second ago, I mentioned that you wanted to clean it uh, just a little bit. What I'm getting at is you'll see this one has a little bit more foam left on it. That's what I'm talking about. Clean that off. Uh, basically, I mean, I think it goes without saying, but you don't want to dunk this down into your, your poly or your stain or whatever, you know, your paint especially if it's paint. I mean, you think a black foam brush and white paint, that's no good. Uh, so if you found it interesting, if you found it helpful, I hope you found it helpful. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Take the time to do it. I'm going to put the little clicky thing somewhere right around in here. How about that? Uh, <laughs> getting awful fancy here. Even got a microphone now. How about that? Uh, but take the time to subscribe so you can see when something new comes out. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got something out of it, pass it along. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you on the next one. Take care.